We welcome you to Canton for coverage of the Division VI State Football Championship. Marion Local trying to repeat as Division VI State Champions. As expected, a huge crowd. Maria Stein, Chickasaw, everyone involving Marion Local in attendance and the defense on display for the Flyers holding Kirtland to an opening field goal after they drove down the field. So Marion trailing three to nothing. Flyers punting on their second first possession. Tyler Mesher puts it high. It bounces and Kayla Bruns jumps on it. Marion local ball deep in Kirtland territory. Nolan Habadas finishes off the drive, six to nothing. Marion local in front. After a penalty that gets closer to the goal line, they'll go for two and Habadas to the end zone. 8-3, Marion local. Jack Beaning playing big defense. Tackle for loss here. Punt coming and in the second quarter, Bruns Going up top to Nick Tangeman. What a pass by Nathan Bruns. First down, Marion Local. Third and nine from the 10. Bruns finds a slide in Tangeman. 14 to three, Flyers up double digits. Bruns, more time. Look at this. Fires to a leaping Tangeman. First down, Marion Local. They are driving. Then it's Beaning barreling in for the touchdown. 20 to three, Flyers at the half. Third quarter. Derek Ruinkamp takes the opening kick, giving Marion Local good field position once again. A few plays later, it's third and forever after a penalty. Bruins escapes, finds Tangeman for the touchdown. Six catches, 120 yards, receiving 27-3. Marion Local can feel it. Flyers defense getting stronger. Alex Partington, the big sack. And then the Flyers get it back. Bruins to Matt Rethman, first down yardage. Same drive, fourth quarter begins with Partington plowing in for the touchdown as Marion Local wins its 10th football state championship, 34 to 11. Coach Goodwin gets the ice bath as Marion Local repeats Division VI champs. You know, I'm just happy, you know, that the, these, this team came out and just played well. It just seems like it's been a while since we've really played well in this game, and that's what I'm most happy about. 15-0 is pretty sweet. I love it. It was a great season, and we just had fun and had a ball out there. This community, man, it's football. They love football. They come out there and support us every week, and I love it. Our community is just awesome. I don't know. It went really high. I was a little nervous that it didn't go far enough, but then we got the fumble, we got down there, we got the ball. Super happy. It definitely flipped the field for sure, you know, and, and it got us going, you know, because, you know, they they drove the field, got that field goal, and we were, I think, three and out, I think. And so, uh, yeah, that, I think that, that definitely gave us a, 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 bol a bolst of confidence. It was huge. Coach always talks about getting turnovers. That changes the momentum of the game, and that's what we did today. It definitely set the tone of the game. The defense couldn't let up at all. We just had to keep chugging. It's unbelievable, man, to do it with this team and the way we did it. It's awesome. I, I love this team. Absolutely amazing. Um, going 15-0 in this program, it's amazing. Just the feeling of Mary local football is just awesome. What will I remember about these seniors? We were sitting in the coach's office in the dog days of two-a-days, and they were having a, and this was during break, they were having a dance party and just going crazy in the locker room. And the coaches are dead tired and we're just grumpy. And it's, like I said, it's like the second week of two days and they're just having a blast out there. And we just look at each other and just shake our heads like this is quite a team. So the Flyers do it back to back state champions with their win over Kirtland. From Canton, Annie Lynch, First Sports Report.